Traveling English, Part One. At the airport. Vocabulary you can use at the airport. Airport. Aeroplane. Baggage. Luggage. Suitcase. Taxi. Carry-on bag. Boarding card. Passport. Luggage trolley. Window seat. Aisle seat. Check-in desk. Check-in desk attendant. Flight information screen. Terminal. Flight time. Departure time. Check-in desk. Baggage allowance. Excess baggage charge. Luggage belt. Departure lounge. Security check-in area. Boarding gate. Board the plane. Arrival time. Land. Take off. Delayed. Cancelled. Understanding vocabulary used at an airport. Terminal, a place where vehicles, passengers, or goods begin or end a journey. Flight time, your flight time is the time the plane leaves. Check-in desk, a place where you can show your ticket and give the airline your bags, so they can put them on the plane. Baggage allowance, the maximum weight for your bags. Excess baggage charge, an amount of money you have to pay if your bags are heavier than the baggage allowance. Luggage belt, a moving rubber belt that takes your bag from the check-in desk to the plane, or from the plane to the baggage reclaim area. Departure lounge, a large room in an airport where you can sit. Before getting on the plane, security check-in area, the area in an airport where you show your passport, boarding gate, the area where you show your boarding pass and get on the plane. Board, if you board a plane, you get on it. Arrival time, the time your plane arrives at its destination. Land. If a plane lands, it comes to the ground in a controlled manner. Take off. If a plane takes off, it leaves the ground in a controlled manner. Delayed. If your plane is delayed, it leaves later than planned. Cancelled. If your plane is cancelled, it doesn't leave, and you have to get another flight. Useful expressions that you might want to say. Excuse me, where's the check-in desk, please? Which terminal does the plane leave from? Do you know which gate the plane is leaving from? Where's boarding gate thirty-four, please? Can I have a window seat, please? Where's the security check-in area? Useful expressions that you might hear. Can I see your passport, please? Did you pack your bags yourself? Your plane is delayed forty-five minutes. Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? Here's your boarding card. You'll be boarding at gate number thirty-four.
Traveling English Part 2 On the Plane Vocabulary you can use on the plane. Vocabulary Airline Tray Pilot Runway Cockpit Flight attendant Safety belt Life jacket Seat Emergency exit Oxygen mask Control tower Passenger Sick bag Airline food Overhead locker Food trolley Aisle Here are some of the typical announcements that you can hear on the plane. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard British Airlines Flight 832 from London Gatwick to Paris. Please fasten your seatbelt and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in the overhead lockers. And make sure your chair and table trays are in the upright position. Please turn off all personal electronic devices, including laptops and mobile phones. We'd also like to remind you that smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for flying British Airways. Enjoy your flight. During the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign and you may now move around the plane. However, we recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened in case of any unexpected turbulence. The captain speaks. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking. I'd like to welcome everyone to British Airways. Flight 362. We're currently cruising at an altitude of 33,000 feet and an airspeed of 400 miles per hour. The time is 1.25 p.m. with the tailwind on our side. We're expecting to arrive in Paris approximately 15 minutes ahead of schedule. The weather in Paris is clear and sunny with a high of 25 degrees for this afternoon. The cabin crew will be coming around in about 20 minutes to offer you a light snack and drink. I'll talk to you again before we reach our destination. But until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight. Landing Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Paris. We've just landed at Charles de Gaulle Airport, where the local time is 15 minutes past 3 in the afternoon. The temperature outside is 25 degrees Celsius. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the plane has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Before leaving, please ensure you have all of your personal belongings with you. On behalf of British Airways and the entire crew, we'd like to thank you for joining us and we will look forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day. Vocabulary on the plane. See you in part three. Thank you. Travelling English Part 3 
going through customs. Useful words for the customs. Customs officer, passport, ID card, suitcase, backpack, hand luggage, bottle of spirits, carton of cigarettes, packet of cigarettes, body scanner, metal detector, firearm. Extra words and meaning. Luggage. All the bags that you take with you when you travel abroad. Exotic species. A plant, animal or insect that is taken from its native habitat into another country. Smuggle. To take goods illegally into a country. Tax or duty. Money you pay to the government for certain goods, cigarettes, alcohol, etc. Duty-free shop. A shop in an airport where you can buy goods at a cheaper price because you do not have to pay tax on them. Duty-free allowance. The amount of goods you're allowed to take into a country without having to pay tax. VAT, value added tax. A tax that is added to the price of goods or services. Declare, if you have something to declare, you have goods that you must pay tax on. Green channel, you walk through this area in an airport if you have nothing to declare. Red channel. You walk through this area in an airport if you have something to declare. Banned goods. Goods that you can't bring into a country. Example, drugs, guns, explosives. Restricted goods. Goods that have controls over the quantity you can bring in, example, some food products, some animal products, some plants, some souvenirs made from endangered species. Dialogue, the custom officers might say. Hi, could you put your bag on the table please? Yes, sure. Would you mind opening it for me, please? Yes, of course. Did you pack it yourself? Yes, I did. Where have you come in from? New York City. Is this your first time in the UK? Yes. Is there anyone else traveling with you? No. Can I see your passport, please? Yes, here you are. Okay, what's the purpose of your visit? I'm visiting some friends and relatives. And how long do you plan to stay? Fifteen days. Where will you be staying? At my uncle's house. Have you got anything to declare? No, I don't think so. I mean, I've got this bottle of whiskey, but I got it in the duty-free shop. That's all right. That's within your duty-free allowance. Okay, you can go now. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. This is a conversation you may have with a customs officer. Travelling English Part 4 At the Hotel Useful Vocabulary for the Hotel Lift or Elevator Receptionist Double Room with a Double Bed Single Room with a Single Bed 
twin room with two single beds. Porter or bellboy. Key. Key card. Pillow. Mini bar. Trouser press. Cot. Safety deposit box or safety deposit safe. More words with meaning. Reception. Front desk. The area in the hotel entrance where you can book rooms or ask questions. The receptionist is usually behind a long table. Guest. A person who is staying in a hotel. Lobby. The large area near the entrance just when you walk into a hotel. Room service. If a hotel has room service, it will bring food or drinks to your room. Suite. The most luxurious room in a hotel. Bill. A piece of paper with information about how much you have to pay for the hotel room. Hotel manager. The person in charge of the hotel and the staff who work there. Air conditioning. A machine that produces cold air. Heating. A machine that produces warm air. Balcony. An area on the outside of a room with a railing, a guard or barrier around it. View. What you can see from your hotel window. The land, sea, mountains, etc. Floor. The second floor of a building, for example, refers to the second level of that building with all the rooms on it. Check-in. When you check in to a hotel, you go to the front desk and tell them that you've arrived. Check out. When you check out, you go to the front desk and tell them that you're leaving. You often pay at this point. Wake up call. A telephone call from the hotel that will wake you up at a certain time. Reservation. If you make a reservation, you will telephone the hotel and arrange to have a room on a particular day. Useful expressions. What you may say. I'd like a room for two nights, please. I'd like a single room, please. I have a reservation under the name of Smith. Does the hotel have a swimming pool? Is breakfast included? We need a cot for the baby, please. Could I have a wake-up call at 6 a.m., please? What time do we have to check out? The answers you might hear. What name was the reservation made under? Here's your key. It's room 458. It's on the fourth floor. The lift is over there. Would you like someone to help you with your bags? Breakfast is served between 7 and 11. Checkout is at midday. Shall I call a taxi for you? Dialogue about checking in. Melissa has just arrived at the hotel where she's staying. She's at the front desk. This is her conversation. Hi! Can I help you? Yes, I made a reservation a couple of weeks ago. What name did you make it under, please? Simmons. Melissa Simmons. Ah, yes, a single room for two nights. Actually, it was a double room for three nights. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll just change the booking. Right. 
So that's a double room for three nights. Yes, I'll be checking in on Monday morning. Could I have your credit card and passport, please? Yes, here you are. Thanks. You're in room 625, which is on the sixth floor. Here's your key card, and the elevator is just over there. Great. What time is the restaurant open for breakfast, please? Between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Okay. And is there a swimming pool here? Yes. Just down those stairs over there on the right. We've got some pool towels if you need one. Perfect. And let me know if there's anything you need. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Traveling English, Part 5 At the Doctors Useful Expressions for At the Doctors I've sprained my ankle. I'm a bit sunburnt. I've got a bruise on my leg. I've twisted my wrist. I banged my head. My eye has swollen up. I hurt my arm. I've got a pain in my left shoulder. I'm having trouble breathing. I've got a cut on my finger. I got stung by a bee. I've got a rash on my arm. More useful words and their meaning. Temperature. A normal body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. Thermometer. An instrument for measuring temperature. Fever. If you've got a fever, your body temperature is high. Pills. Small pieces of medicine that you swallow without chewing. Medicine. A substance that you can drink or swallow to cure an illness. Vomit or throw up. When you vomit, liquid food comes out of your mouth. Tummy bug. An illness in your stomach caused by bacteria. Headache. A pain in your head. Sore. If your body is sore, it hurts. Also, ache. My body is aching. Fluids, liquids such as water, orange juice, etc. Prescription, a piece of paper the doctor writes with information about the medicine you need. Chemist or pharmacy in the US English, a shop where you can buy medicine. Clinic. A building where people go to see the doctor, receive medical advice, etc. Diarrhea. If someone has diarrhea, liquid, liquid comes out of them when they go to the toilet. Constipated. If someone's constipated, they can't go to the toilet. Cold. If someone has a cold, they sneeze a lot. Air liquid comes out of their nose. Cough, an illness in which your chest or throat hurts. Queasy, sick, nauseous. If you're feeling queasy, you feel as if you're going to vomit. Dizzy, if you feel dizzy, you feel as if you're about to fall. Flu, an illness which is like a cold but more serious. Blood pressure, the amount of force with which your blood flows around your body. Painkiller, a medicine that stops pain. Pulse, the regular beating of blood through your body. Infected, an infected area of your body that has germs or bacteria on it. 
dialogue about consulting the doctor. Jack is at the doctor's. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, I haven't been feeling very well. I was vomiting a lot over the weekend. And I've got this terrible pain in my stomach. And a pretty bad headache. I think I've got some kind of tummy bug. Does your body feel sore? Yes, it does. Okay, I just need to take your temperature. Hmm, 38.5. You've got a bit of a temperature. You need to drink plenty of fluids and stay in bed for the next 48 hours. You also need to take this medicine. You can get it in the chemist. Just take one pill every six hours. Okay, thanks a lot. Is there a chemist near here? Yes, there's one right next to the hotel. Great, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Travelling English Part 6 At the Travel Agents Useful words for using with the travel agents. Cruise ship Train Aeroplane Coach Passport Backpack Map Insect Repellent Mosquito repellent. Sun hat. Camera. Wash bag. Sun cream. Sunglasses. Sandals. Bum bag. More words and their meaning. Package deal. Package deal holiday. A holiday that includes everything, the flight, hotel, meals, etc. Overnight stay. If you have an overnight stay, you sleep in a hotel during your journey. Resort. A place where hotels, restaurants, etc. where people spend their holidays a beach resort, a ski resort. Travelling English Part 6 At the Travel Agents Useful words for using with the travel agents. Cruise ship Train Aeroplane Coach Passport Backpack Map Insect repellent, mosquito repellent, sun hat, camera, wash bag, sun cream, sunglasses, sandals, bum bag. More words and their meaning. Package deal, package deal holiday. A holiday that includes everything, the flight, hotel, meals, etc. Overnight stay. If you have an overnight stay, you sleep in a hotel during your journey. Resort. A place where hotels, restaurants, etc. where people spend their holidays a beach resort, a ski resort. Journey. When you go on a journey, you travel somewhere. Typical expressions include car journey, train journey, long journey, short journey. Trip. A journey that you make to a particular place. Typical expressions include day trip, business trip, round trip, a journey to a place and then back over the same route. Travel. 
If you travel somewhere, you go there. Voyage, a long journey on a ship or in a spacecraft. Tour guide, someone whose job is to show tourists around a place and explain its history, architecture, etc. Guided tour. If someone takes you on a guided tour, they show you around a place of interest and tell you all about it. Travel agency. Travel agents. A shop where you can buy holidays. Visa. An official document on a stamp in your passport which allows you to enter or leave a particular country. Stopover. If you have a stopover during your journey, you stop in a place and stay there for one or two nights. Customs. The place in an airport where customs officials make checks on your bags for drugs or weapons. Exchange rate. The rate of which one currency can be exchanged for another. For example, the exchange rate for euros to dollars. Seasick, car sick, air sick. If you get car sick, you feel sick during a car journey. BO equals bed only, just a bed in a hotel. BB equals bed and breakfast, a bed in a hotel with breakfast included. HB half board a bed in a hotel with breakfast and either lunch or dinner included fb full board a bed in a hotel with breakfast lunch and dinner now some dialogue deciding where you will go between a travel agent and a customer jim wants to go on holiday he's talking to a travel agent who is helping him to plan the trip. Morning. Good morning, can I help you? Yes, hmm, I've never been on holiday before, but I've finally decided to take an overseas trip. The trip of a lifetime. How exciting. How long would you like to go? For Two weeks during the Christmas holidays. Where do you suggest? How about a luxury safari in Mozambique? The weather will be warm and you'll have a real adventure. Hmm, will there be mosquitoes? I guess so, but you can take some insect repellent. I'm allergic to insect or mosquitoes. What else have you got? What about southern Spain? I can get you a package deal that includes flights, accommodation and meals. Aren't the beaches there full of Brits? I'd rather go somewhere off the beaten path, so to speak. Well, British Airways have a great deal at the moment on flights to the Solomon Islands. It's beautiful there this time of year. And the exchange rate is great. How long is the flight? About 20 hours. Oh, that won't do. I get cramp if I sit too long. Anything closer to home? Uh, Germany? Oh, I'm not a big fan of sausages. There's more to Travel English Part 7. Shopping. Useful words to use when shopping. Aisle. Toilets, bathroom, shelf or shelves, credit card or debit card, receipt, scales, coins, shopping basket, plastic bag or carrier bag, exit, escalator, shopping trolley. Notes or banknotes. Shop manager or store manager. Checkout assistant. Checkout till. Cash till. Self checkout. 
self-service checkout, sales assistant, shop assistant. Extra words and their meanings. Department store, a very large shop with different sections, toys, food, etc. Shopping center, a large building with many separate shops, shopping mall in US English. Floor, a level in a shop, ground floor, first floor, second floor, etc. Menswear or women's wear department, the place in the shop where there are clothes for men or women. Changing rooms, a little room where you can try on clothes. Cafeteria, a restaurant where you can buy a cup of coffee or a sandwich. Store card, a card that gives you points every time you buy something. Refund, if you get a refund, you return an item you bought and the shop returns your money. Discount, if there's a discount, a product costs less than normal. Coupon, a little piece of paper with a discount on a particular product. Things that you might ask, where's the sports department please? I'd like to return this skirt please. Is the cafe on the second floor? Where can I get toothpaste please? What time do you close please? Are you open on Sundays? Is there somewhere I can try this on please? Do you have this in a larger, smaller size, please? Things that you might hear as answers. Have you got a store card? Shall I wrap it for you? Will you be paying by cash or credit card? We're open from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. all through the week. The changing rooms are just over there. You can bring it back and get a refund if you keep the receipt. Dialogue at the department store. Bob is in a department store. He needs some help, so he is speaking to a shop assistant. Excuse me, do you know where the cereal is, please? Yes, it's down there on the right, three aisles down. Oh. And do you know where the menswear are, please? They're on the third floor. And the fruit and veg section? It's at the back of the supermarket, just over there. Oh, where's the sports wear department? It's on the second floor. And the cafeteria is on the sixth floor. Great. Sorry, but where's the toilets? It's just over there. And the elevator? It's just over there too. Are you open on Sundays? Yes, we are. Oh, I wanted to try this shirt on. Do you know where the changing rooms are? You'll have to go back down to menswear department on the fourth floor and try it on there. This is the supermarket. There aren't any changing rooms here. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Oh, there's just one other thing. Excuse me. Frank, Frank. Yeah, what? Could you deal with this gentleman, please? I'm sorry, but there's been an emergency and I've got to go back and stack some shelves. Oh, right, well, uh, I was just wondering whether you could tell me... Thank you very much. Travel English Part 8 at the restaurant. Vocabulary you might hear at a restaurant. Wine glass, plate, side dish, knife, fork, spoon. Jug of water, 
bowl, napkin, tablecloth, toothpick, salt or pepper, table, waiter, waitress. More words and their meanings. Menu, a piece of paper with the prices and list of things you can eat in the restaurant. Starter, food you can eat before the main course. Soup, a salad, etc. Main course, the large plate of food you order, fish and chips, steak with potatoes etc. Dessert. A sweet dish you eat at the end of the meal. Cake, yogurt, sorbet. Set menu. A fixed price for a starter, main course and dessert. There's usually a limited choice of options. The bill. A piece of paper that tells you how much you have to pay for your meal. Steak. You can have your steak done three different ways. Rare, cooked for a very short period of time so it's still red inside. Medium, cooked a bit until it's brown on both sides. Or well done, cooked for a longer period of time. Now, useful expressions that you might say in a restaurant. We'd like a table for two, please. We've got a reservation under the name of Jones. Could you bring us the oil and vinegar, please? I'll have the soup as a starter, please. I'll have the steak for the main course. Where's the bathroom, please? Could we have the bill, please? Things that you might hear as answers. Can I get you a drink while you're waiting? Are you ready to order? What do you want for the main course? Would you like a starter? What would you like to drink with your meal? Would you like any wine with that? How would you like your steak? Would you like any dessert or coffee? A dialogue between customers and a restaurant. Megan and her husband, Bob, are in a restaurant. Good evening. Good evening. We'd like a table for two, please. Certainly. This way, please. Can I get you a drink? Yes. I'll have a glass of wine, please. And I'll have a bottle of Heineken, please. Okay. Our special of the day is mushroom soup and a fillet of fish with potatoes. Okay, thanks. Here are your drinks. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the special, please. And I'll have the salad as a starter. And I'd like the steak for the main course, please. How would you like your steak? Well done, please. Okay, so that's one special and one salad and a well done steak. That's right, perfect. Was everything all right? Yes, very nice, thank you. Would you like any coffee or tea? No, just the bill, please. Will you be paying by credit card? Yes. I'll just go and get the credit card. Travel English Part 9 The Underground Vocabulary you might use on the underground. Tube map Line Tube station Track Travel car Tube train Carriage Train seat Door handle Turnstile Ticket machine, underground staff, information board, ticket counter, sign, tunnel, platform, tube entrance. Extra words you might use and their meanings. Zone, 
The underground is divided into different zones. For example, Zone 1 is the central area of London. Single ticket. A ticket that allows you to go on one journey to a destination without returning. Return ticket. A ticket that allows you to go to a place and return from there. Stop. A station on the underground train route. Escalator. A moving staircase that takes you up and down a level. Pickpocket. A thief who steals things, money, etc. from people's pockets. Delayed train. If a train is delayed, it arrives later than it should. What you might ask someone. A single to Baker Street, please. A return to Waterloo Station, please. Which platform is it for? For Victoria Station, please. Do I need to change lines for Waterloo Station? I'd like a travel card, please. What answers you might hear in reply? Stand clear of the door, please. Mind the gap, please. The next station is Tottenham Court Road. Change here for the Northern Line. You need to take the Bakerley Line. Get on the southbound train. Change at Tottenham Court Road for the Northern Line. Here is a dialogue between a customer and the station. Miranda is a tourist in London. She wants to get to Waterloo Station. Hi, do you think you could help me please? Yes, sure. I'm trying to get to Waterloo Station. What's the best way to get there? Probably by tube. Okay, do you know where that is? Yes, it's near the Northern Line. Great, and do you know where the nearest tube station is? Well, Covent Garden is just down the street, but then you'll have to stop at Leicester Square to get on the Northern Line. So, it'd be quicker and easier to walk to Leicester Square and to get the tube from there. Okay, that's great. Do I need to change lines after that? No. Just get on the southbound tube. Find a platform that says southbound and take the first tube that comes along. I think it's about four or five stops from here. That's great. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Thank you everyone. Travel English Part 10 Going by Taxi Some vocabulary that you might hear when using taxis. Taxi cab Cab Driver Taxi driver Passenger Taxi rank Fare Taxi fare, meter, boot or trunk in the US, luggage, back seat, passenger seat, sat nav system, traffic light. Some useful expressions that you might say. I'd like to go to Station Hotel, please. Is there a supplement to pay from the airport? Could you help me with my luggage, please? Could you open the windows, please? Could you turn up the air conditioning, please? Is the traffic bad at this time of the day? How much is it, please? Keep the change. What you might hear. Where would you like to go? Shall I drop you off just here? That's £14.50, please. Would you like a receipt? Examples of mini dialogues between A and B. 
start with A. Hi, I'd like to go to the airport, please. B. Which one? A. Gatwick. A. Shall I put your bags in the boot? B. No, that's okay. I'll keep them with me here, thanks. A. Will it take long? B. It depends on the traffic. At this time of day, traffic's usually a bit slow. A. Just drop me off here, please. B. Okay. Dialogue between a customer and a cab driver. Trish is in a cab. Afternoon. Hi, I need to get to the National Gallery of Art. Sure, hop in. Is it far? Not really, but if the traffic's bad, it can be a bit long. I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. We should be okay. By the way, have you got change for a 50 euro note? Yeah, I think so. So is this your first time in the city? Yes, I'm here for a conference. Very nice. That's the Museum of Science on the left. Oh, okay. And that's the Parliament uh, just over there. All right. That's the museum, isn't it? Yes, it is. That was quicker than I expected. Do you need any help? No, that's okay. Thanks. That'll be six euros twenty, please. Here you are. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Travel English, part 11, the police. Useful words when dealing with the police. Police officer, police station, backpack, police car, handbag, usually for a woman, suitcase, wallet for a man, passport, plane ticket, purse for a woman, mobile phone or cell phone in the US. Extra words and their meanings. Thief, someone who takes something without permission. The thief walked away with my bag while I wasn't looking. Theft, if there's been a theft, someone has stolen something. Robber, someone who takes something often with violence or the threat of violence. We often use robber to refer to someone who robs a bank. The robber stole a lot of money from the bank. To rob, to use violence or the threat of violence to take something from someone. They robbed me while I was on my way home. Burglar, someone who enters a property illegally through the intention of stealing something. The burglar got in through an open window. Pickpocket. Someone who steals money or a wallet from your pocket. The pickpocket took her wallet as she was getting onto the train. To steal, to take something from someone. The thief stole my camera while I wasn't looking. Belongings. Your belongings are your possessions, the thing you own. Suspect. Someone who could be guilty of a crime. Victim. Someone who has been robbed, etc. Identity card or ID card. An official card with your photograph on it and information about you. Insurance policy. A formal agreement with an insurance company. You pay the company an amount of money 
In return, you receive compensation, money, etc. If you're robbed or injured or if you lose something. To report a crime. To tell the police about a crime. Crime Incident Report Form A form that you must complete with details about the crime. To fill out a form. To complete a form. To file an insurance claim. To inform the insurance company officially about a loss or injury so that you can get compensation, money, etc. CCTV, closed circuit television. Television cameras in the street that record everything that happens. Help, what you need to shout if you're in trouble or being robbed. Dialogue, reporting a theft. Marco is in the police station. He's reporting a theft. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. I'd like to report a theft, please. Okay, you'll need to fill out this crime incident report form then. Will I be able to use that to file an insurance claim when I get back to Italy? Yes, okay. Now, can you give me your name and address, please? Yes, it's Marco Spinetti, and I'm staying at the Grosvenor Hotel at Marlborough Street. And your passport number or ID card number? My passport number is B783468900. And have you got a contact number? Yes, my telephone number is 0029-876-349. Okay, and what items were stolen? Uh, just a wallet, I think. When was this? About 2 p.m. yesterday afternoon. And where were you at the time? I was in Victoria Station. And could you describe what happened? Yes, well, I was waiting in a queue to get a ticket. When I came to pay, I realized that my wallet was missing. I think someone must have picked my pocket as I was in the queue. Did you notice anyone acting suspiciously at the time? Yes, well, there was an elderly man with a walking stick behind me. He kept bumping into me. I'm sure it was him. Thank you for listening. Travel English Part 12 The Pub Useful vocabulary when you're at the pub. A barman or bartender, a barwoman or bartender, the bar, glass of wine, a pint glass, a half pint glass, a bar counter, a slice of lemon, a bar stool, a packet of crisps, ice, Ice on the rocks. A landlord. A landlady. Peanuts. A round of drinks. A table. Toilets. Useful expressions that you might say. What time does the pub close? I'll have a pint of lager, please. I'll have a straight whiskey, please. A whiskey with no ice. I'll have a non-alcoholic beer and a vodka and orange, please. Where are the toilets, please? A bottle of bud, please. 
Is this chair taken? Can I smoke here? Is there a non smoking section? Do you have darts here? Is there a pool table? Do you serve food? Can I see the menu, please? Are there any live bands playing tonight? Do you have quiz nights? How much is that, please? Do you have Sky Sports? The digital channel that shows live sports games. Are you going to be showing the Scotland Ireland game? Cheers. This can mean thanks or a way of celebrating the moment by touching your glass against the other person's glass. What you might hear or replies. What would you like? What will you be having then? Would you like anything to eat with that? A pint or a half? Sorry, but smoking is prohibited here. The smoking section is at the back. The toilets are down the stairs and on the right. That'll be £22 and six pence, please. Last orders, please. This means the pub is about to close, so you have to order quickly. Time, ladies and gentlemen. This means the pub is closing, so you have to stop drinking. A glossary. Lager, a gold colored fizzy beer that is served cold. Bud. A Budweiser is a type of American beer. Darts. A game played that consists of throwing pointed sticks at a board. A menu. A list of the food served in a restaurant. A live band. A band that plays in front of an audience. Dialogue. In the pub. Sally is in the pub getting drinks. Good evening. Evening, what can I get for you? I'll have a bud and a Heineken and a vodka and coke, please. Okay, would you like any ice and a squeeze of lemon with the vodka and coke? Yes, please. Anything else? Yeah, a packet of cheese and onion crisps and a bag of peanuts, please. Okay, last orders, ladies and gentlemen. How much is that then? That'll be £8.50, please. Cheers. Here you are. Thank you. Time, please, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be finishing your drinks, please. Excuse me, but where are the toilets, please? Just over there on the right. Thanks. Thank you very much, everyone. Travel English, part 13. At the museum. Vocabulary you can use at the museum. Sculpture, gift shop, admission ticket, work of art, cafeteria, museum cafe, map. Museum Guide Security Guard Visitor Model of Town Painting Stuffed Animal Extra Words and Their Meanings Artifact An Object of Archaeologist Interest Memorabilia Objects which have a connection to historical events or people. Treasure. Valuable objects often including gold and jewels. Replica. An exact model of something. A whale, for example. Hologram. A 3D image created by laser beams. 
Collection, a group of similar things. Weapon, an object used for fighting or killing, a sword or a gun, etc. Diorama, a three-dimensional scene with figures and landscapes. Exhibition, a public event at which pictures, works of art, etc. are shown. Exhibit, a painting, sculpture, etc. that is shown in a public place. An exhibition. Museum booklet, a little book explaining what is in the museum. Display cabinet, a piece of furniture with glass at the front. Top for showing objects. Gallery, a place museums with permanent exhibitions of work of art in it. Useful expressions. Where are the works of art by Picasso, please? What floor are the paintings on, please? Where's the museum shop, please? What time does the museum close, please? Are there any guided tours? Where's the photo exhibition, please? Is there a cafeteria in the museum? Dialogue at the box office at the museum. Excuse me. When's the museum open, please? We're open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. all week, except Tuesday. Last admission is one hour before closing time. Great. And how much is it to get in? It's £12 for adults, £6 for senior citizens and teenagers. And it's free for children under the age of 12 who are accompanied by an adult. There's a supplementary fee for some of the special exhibitions and events. Oh well, I was interested in the photography exhibition. How much is the supplementary fee for that? That's £3 extra per person. Are there any guided tours? There's a two-hour private guided tour that costs £50. Okay, well, I think we'll leave that for now. So, that's two adults for the museum and two supplementary fees for the exhibition, please. That'll be £30, please. Okay, here you are. You'll have to leave your backpack in the left luggage area. Okay, and you'll have to pass through the body scan and put any handbags through the metal detector. Great. The main hall is straight ahead of you. The gift shop is on the right and there's a cafeteria in the basement. Thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Travel English, part 14. At the train station. Vocabulary you may use at the train station. Seat. Carriage. A train engine. A train track. A monthly pass. A ticket inspector. A ticket. A waiting room. A ticket office. A ticket machine. An overhead luggage rack. A sleeping car. Left luggage. An aisle. Electronic barrier. Information screen. Useful expressions you might say. Where can I buy a ticket? Where can I make a reservation? I'd like a single to London, please. I'd like a return to Birmingham, please. I'd like to reserve a berth in the sleeper to Edinburgh, please. I'd like a monthly season ticket, please. Is this train direct? Do I have to change trains? 
Which platform is it for? The 1445 to Manchester, please. How long does it take? What time does it arrive in London? Where do I have to change? Is this the train for Bath? Is there a left luggage office? The ticket machine wasn't working properly. When's the next train to Brighton? Is there a waiting room here? Is there a lost luggage office? Where's the information desk, please? I'd like a cheap day return to London, please. Is this seat taken? I think this is my seat. I'd like an off-peak ticket, please. What you might hear in response. I'm sorry for the train is delayed today. The next train arriving on platform 6 is the 1348 to Brighton. You're in a carriage, number 10. This is a non-smoking train. Tickets, please. You'll have to pay a surcharge. You'll have to pay an excess fare. A berth, a bed in a compartment in a train. A season ticket, a train ticket you can use for a fixed period of time, three months, six months, one year, etc. A platform, the area in the train station where you stand or sit and wait for the train to come. The left luggage office, a place where you can leave bags in lockers. A ticket machine, a machine that gives you a ticket. A cheap day return, a ticket that is lower in price and that allows you to travel to a place and return in the same day, but not during rush hour, the busy times. An off-peak ticket, a cheap ticket for a train at a quiet time, not at the time when people are traveling to work or going home. Delayed, is if a train is delayed, it will come later than planned. Dialogue at the ticket office. Hi, I'd like a ticket to Wolverhampton, please, for tomorrow. Single or return? A single, please. When do you want to leave? What time is the first train? 7.35. Okay, a single for 7.35, please. That'll be 42 pounds, please. 42 pounds, that's a bit expensive. If you buy online instead, you can get a much better price or you can get an off-peak ticket for just 22 pounds, but you'd have to get the 11.22 train. Okay, then I'll have the off-peak ticket for the train at 11.22. Is it direct? No, you have to stop at Newcastle. Okay, can I pay by credit card? Of course, here you are. Thank you. Just sign here, please. Thanks, which platform does it leave from? You'll have to check it on the information screen. It usually goes from platform 16, but you'll have to check. Okay, have a nice journey. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Travel English, part 15. At the theater. Vocabulary you might use at the theater. Actor, stage, theater. Orchestra pit, director, audience, upper circle, balcony, the seats at the top of the theater, above the dress circle, dress circle, the first floor seats above the stalls, backdrop, 
a cloth at the back of the stage that shows a scene. Scenery, the furniture backdrop that shows where a scene is taking place. Costumes, stalls, orchestra stalls, the seats on the ground floor. Extra words and their meanings. Musical, a play in which the actors sing. Play, a piece of writing that is performed in the theatre. Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, etc. Performance, any time a theatre play is performed in front of an audience, the six o'clock performance, etc. Script, the written version of a play. Actors study it to learn their lines. Score. The music that accompanies the play, film, etc. Playwright. Someone who writes a theatre play. Shakespeare, for example. Full house. A theatre that is full of people. Props. Objects that actors use during a play, film, a sword, a hat, a gun, etc. Lines, the text that actors say in a play. Rehearsal, a practice session for the play. Role, a part in a play. The lead role is the most important part in the play. Standing ovation, when the audience stands and claps because they are so impressed. Curtain call. At the end of the play when the actors come out to receive applause. Pantomime. A type of Christmas play with singing and dancing. It is often based on a fairy tale such as Cinderella. Interval or intermission. A short break in the middle of a play or film. Matinee performance. A time when the play or musical is shown in the afternoon, between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m., more or less. Row. A line of seats. A program. A little book with information about the play and actors. Theatre expression. Actors on stage never say good luck as it is supposed to bring bad luck. They always say, break a leg. Another forbidden word is Macbeth. Useful expressions. It's about. It's set to. It's written by. It's directed by. It's a version of a book by. It's a musical adaptation of some of the most memorable songs are Dialogue at the theatre Hi, I'd like some tickets for the musical. Let it be, please. Okay, when would you like to go? This Saturday, 18th if possible. We're fully booked on Friday, but there are some seats available on Thursday. Perfect. What time are the performances? Well, the Matiam session is at 3 p.m. and the evening show is at 8 p.m. Okay, how much are the tickets? Well, seats in the stalls are £65 each. They're £45 for the dress row and £35 for the upper circle. There's a 10% discount for those under 16. Okay, then I'll have two seats in the stalls for the Matian performance, please. Okay, how about row H, seats 1 and 2? That's quite close to the stage, but not too close. Sounds great. How long does the show last? 
about three hours with a half hour interval in between. So that's £130, please. How would you like to pay? By credit card, please. Can I take one of the pins? Yes, of course. Here, just key in your pin code. The theatre opens 45 minutes before the show starts. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the show. I'm sure we will. Thank you, everyone. Travel English Part 16 At the Post Office Vocabulary you might use at the post office A letterbox A parcel or a package A postal worker A post box Mail trolley A queue Stamps Scales Postmark Registered post, a postal van, stamp machine, a letter, a padded envelope, pigeonholes, letter boxes, packing material, the post office. What you might ask in a post office? Is there a post office near here? What time does the post office open? Where can I buy stamps? Where can I get an envelope, please? I would like to send this letter to the US. I would like to send this letter special delivery. I would like to send a certified letter. I would like to send a parcel to Australia. I'd like 16 stamps for Japan, please. Is there a post box near here, please? I'd like to send this parcel registered post. Do you have any self-adhesive envelopes? I'll come to collect a parcel, please. What you might hear? That'll be X amount, please. Shall I leave it here for you? There's a post box just around the corner. Just put your name and address on the back, please. Please complete this form. This parcel is cash on delivery. First class or second class. I just need to weigh it on the scales. Dialogue at the post office. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to send this parcel to Manchester, please. Okay, could you put it on the scales? All right, that's under two kilograms. When do you want it to arrive? Um, a couple of days. If you send it first class, it'll be delivered the next day. And if you send it second class, it'll arrive within three to four days. First class parcels are four pounds and second class are two pounds. Okay, how much would it cost to be sent by registered post? 12 pounds and it's guaranteed to be delivered by 9 a.m. the next day. Okay, that sounds fine. I'll send it registered post then. You need to fill out this form with the recipient's details perfect so that's 12 pound in total please thank you here's your receipt great oh where's the post box please i've got some pre-stamped letters i need to send just leave them with me and i'll send them for you okay great thanks a lot bye Thank you, everyone. Travel English Part 17 At the Cinema Vocabulary you might use at the cinema. Cinema Movie theatre in US 
seat, row, popcorn, usher, projector, ticket, 3D film, screen, cinema poster, ticket office, cashier. Extra words and their meanings. Session. The 3 p.m. session, for example, is the time when a film is shown at 3 p.m. Matium performance. The times when films are shown in the afternoon between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m., more or less. Premiere. The first time a film is shown at the cinema. Box office. This word refers to the money collected from the ticket sales. For example, if a film makes 300 million at the box office, it makes that amount from ticket sales. Soundtrack. The music for a film. Ticket stub. The part of a ticket that you keep after they take off the main part of the ticket. Trailer. A type of advert for a film that shows what the film is about. Surround sound speakers. Speakers that project the sound all around you, in front of you and behind you, for example. Snack bar. A place in a cinema where you can buy food, popcorn, drinks, etc. Genres of film. Action films, adventure film, comedies, gangster films, crime films, dramas, historical dramas, war films, horror films, musicals, sci-fi films, which means sci-fi, sci-fi means science fiction, and westerns. Useful expressions, you might say. What time does the film start? I reserved the tickets online. Have you got any seats in the middle row? Could you put us a bit further away from the screen? Are there any tickets for the six o'clock session? What you might hear? Where would you like to sit? Would you like to sit a bit further forward? I'm sorry, but there aren't any tickets left for the six o'clock session. Dialogue at the cinema. Three adults and a child for the six o'clock session of Murder at Midnight, please. Do you want to see it in 3D? No, just normal version, please. Okay, where would you like to sit? Somewhere in the front, if possible. How about row J? Seats 10 to 13. That sounds perfect. What's the film called, by the way? Well, it's a sort of murder mystery. It's quite good. I went last week. I saw the trailer. It looks pretty good. Do you think it'll be suitable for my 15-year-old son? It's rated PG-13, so... It'll be fine for him. That'll be £26, please. Can I pay by credit card? Of course. Okay, here you are. Thank you. Where are the toilets, please? Just along the corridor on the right. And where can I get some snacks? There's a snack bar just around the corner as you walk in. Great, thanks a lot. Here are your tickets. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Travel English, Part 18. The Nightclub. Vocabulary you might use in a nightclub. Bouncer. A type of security guard at the door. DJ. Bar. Mixing desk. Bartender. Disco ball. Bar stool. Cloak room. Lights. Glass of water. 
glass of wine, bottle of beer, speakers, stage, white screen TV, dance floor. Other words and their meanings. Soft drink, non-alcoholic drinks, coke, juice, etc. Clientele, the people who go to the bar or club. Round of drinks, drinks for everyone in the group you're with. The toilets, the gents for men, the ladies for women. Live music, music performed by a band or a singer. On the rocks, with ice, a whiskey on the rocks. Spirits, vodka, whiskey, gin. Pint glass, a glass that holds about 550 milliliters. ID, identity, an identity card, a card with information about your age, name, etc. Typical drinks, gin and tonic, G and T. Vodka and orange, a screwdriver, rum and coke, a margarita, a tequila, Cointreau, lime, salt and sugar, scotch and soda, scotch whiskey and club soda, soda water. Getting the drinks. What are you having? What can I get you? Would you like another drink? I'll have a rum and coke, please. I'll have the same again, please. No, I'm fine, thanks. I'll get this round. These are on me. A large pint of lager, please. Half a lager, please. The music's a bit loud, isn't it? Useful expressions. I love this music. I love this song. Have you been here before? Do you come here often? It's really crowded tonight. I think I'm going to head off home. Dialogue at the nightclub. Sorry, but we're a bit full. You'll have to wait. Okay, uh, what time's the nightclub open until? 3 a.m. Could you just stand over there, please? I told you we should have gone to the other club. Do you know how long we're going to have to wait? Not long. What sort of music do they play here? House, R&B, rap, hip-hop, that sort of stuff. All right, you can go in now. Have you got any ID on you? Yes, here you are. How old are you? 20. All right, you can pay at the counter just inside the club when you go in. How much is it to get in, by the way? I've got this invitation that's only valid before 11 p.m. It's 20 pounds per person and you can get two free people or drinks. Okay. Pretty busy, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I'll get the drinks. What are you having? A whiskey and Coke. Do you know where the toilet is? I think it's just by the entrance. I'm going to leave my coat. Good idea. Oh, I love this song. I'm going down to the dance floor. I'll see you there. Thank you, everyone. Travel English Part 19 At the Coffee Shop Vocabulary you can use at the coffee shop. Coffee Shop Donut Cash Till Waiter or waitress, soft drink, bill or check in the US, cup of coffee, chair, seat, customer, 
muffin, cupcake, sandwich, apron, menu, bar. Espresso, a type of coffee that is quite strong. Americano, an espresso with water added so it isn't so strong. White coffee, coffee with milk. Black coffee, with no milk. Decaf or decaffeinated coffee, coffee with no caffeine. Cappuccino, coffee with frothy milk, powder, chocolate. Latte cafe, latte, a shot of espresso coffee and frothy steamed milk. Skinny latte, a latte with skimmed milk. Mocha, a latte with chocolate syrup. Types of milk. Skimmed milk, almost no fat. Semi-skimmed milk, half and half. Whole milk, full fat. What you might say. Could I have a drop of milk with that please? Is this chair taken? Is anyone sitting here? Is this chair free? Where are the toilets please? What you might hear. Can I take your order please? What would you like to drink? Would you like anything to eat? Would you like any sugar or saccharin with that. Dialogue at the coffee shop. Good afternoon. Can I take your order? Yes. I'll have a cappuccino and a decaf latte. Regular, medium or large? Regular for both please. Would you like skimmed milk? Semi skimmed for the cappuccino and whole milk for the decaf latte, please. And any hazelnut or vanilla? No thanks. Would you like anything to eat with that? Yes, a piece of the cheesecake and a chocolate muffin, please. Is this to take away or have in? To take away, please. At £16.99, please. Here you are. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have any change. Have you got anything smaller? Hmm, let me see. Oh, yes, here. I have a £20 note. Great, thanks a lot. Here's the change. It's just over there on the table. Here's your change. Great, thanks. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you, bye. Thank you, everyone. Travel English Part 20 The Business Trip Useful words you might use on a business trip. Mobile phone, smartphone, passport, Taxi, flight attendant, airport, carry on baggage, hand luggage, chauffeur, aeroplane, suit, tie, trouser press, travel iron, hairdresser, wash bag, shoe polish, laptop, tablet computer, suit bag, suit carrier. More words and their meanings. Business trip. A trip abroad or to another city in order to meet clients or do deals. Boarding card. A card with information about your flight. You need it to get on the plane. Delayed. If a flight is delayed, it leaves later than planned. Cancelled. If a flight is cancelled, it doesn't leave often because of a problem. Book a flight. To reserve a ticket in advance so you can go somewhere by plane. Reserve a hotel room. To arrange to have a room in a hotel on a specific day. Departure time. 
the time a plane, etc. is supposed to leave. Arrival time, the time a plane, etc. is supposed to arrive at its destination. Overnight trip, a short journey that requires you to stay in a hotel for one night. Check in to a hotel. When you check in, you tell the person at the front desk that you've arrived. Give them your credit card details, etc. When you leave, you check out. Economy class. The least expensive seating area in a plane. Business class. The second most expensive seating area in a plane. First class. The most expensive seating area in a plane. Executive lounge. A waiting room at an airport for business and first class passengers. Receipt. A piece of paper with information about something you bought. Expenses. The money you can spend on a trip. Hotel suite. A luxurious room or set of rooms. Take off. When a plane takes off, it leaves the ground in a controlled manner. Land. When a plane lands, it comes down to the ground in a controlled manner. Dialogue. The trip. Randy and Flynn are in a rock band. They're at the airport waiting to board a flight to fly to New York for a meeting with a record company. This is fantastic. I've never been in the executive lounge before. Just one of the perks of flying business class. So who bought the tickets? Mum. Great, she's so kind. You've got a room at the Hilton, haven't you? Yes, a suite. I bet there's Wi-Fi in the room, cable TV and one of those trouser presses. And 24-hour room service. Fantastic, but I feel a bit bad about your mum paying for everything. Oh, don't worry. She only paid for the flights. You're paying for the hotel. What? I used your credit card. I can't afford a room at the Hilton. Relax. We're about to sign a major record deal. We'll be millionaires by Monday. I hope so. Right. So we've got a tight schedule. Once we check into the hotel, we have to go straight to a business lunch with Rocco. He's the head of the studio. Don't you think you should take it easy with the champagne? That's your fourth glass. You don't want to have a hangover for the meeting. Of course I do. We're a rock band. In fact, I'm going to get really drunk at the meeting and shout abuse at Rocco in the middle of the restaurant. He'll love it. Really? Yeah, and I'm planning to trash the hotel room before we check out and maybe throw the TV into the pool. Not on my credit card, you're not. Hey, what's with the suit and tie? You should be wearing some tight leather trousers like mine. It's much more rock and roll. No thanks. Oh, and I've booked a limousine to pick us up at the airport. Am I paying for that too? Cancel it. Let's take a taxi. You can't pull up to the Hilton in a taxi. <sighs> Just remember to collect the receipts so I can claim everything as expenses. Rock stars don't keep receipts. Hey, time to board. Get your boarding pass and passport. Yep. Oh, and just so you know, I'm planning to make a scene at, on the plane. Hopefully I'll be arrested when we land. Just think of the publicity. More words and their meaning. A record deal. A contract that a band or singer signs with a music company. Tight. If a schedule is tight, 
There's very little time to complete everything. To take it easy. To relax, to do something more slowly and calmly. A hangover. A headache and bad feeling someone has after drinking too much alcohol. To shout abuse at. To say rude words at someone in a loud voice. To trash. If someone trashes a hotel room, for example, they completely destroy it. A suit. Clothing that consists of a jacket and trousers or skirt of the same material and colour. Making a scene. If someone makes a scene, they make a lot of noise, shout, break things, etc. Publicity. If you get publicity, newspapers or TV stations write about something that you've done or said. Thank you, everyone. Slime. Wow. OMG. to make it. Let's go do it. Materials. Glue. Shower cream. Cold dough.
food culling. Box used for making slime. Spoon. Use a spoon to scoop to scoops of glue into the plastic box. Add a spoonful of water, then use a spoon to stir the glue and mix with the water. Add a spoonful of water, then use a spoon to stir the glue and mix with the water. Add about two tablespoons of the shower cream. Add about two more spoons of loose powder and stir to combine, or add more talcum powder until the slimes merge into a homogeneous mass. The slime is very beautiful, sticky, soft, smells good. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to press like and subscribe.
past simple tense. We use past simple tense to talk about things that have happened already in the past. We talk about what we do. I go to work every day. Go is the verb which explains the action. I go to work every day is present simple and I went to work yesterday is past simple. We change the verb go to the verb went which creates a past tense sentence. Changing every day to yesterday also establishes a timeline expression in our sentence. Here are some examples to practice with. Go went, speak spoke, run ran, write wrote, swim swam, eat ate, drink drank. Now you try speaking the words, practice as much as you need. You may replay the video as much as you want. Wow, that was excellent. Let's do some more. Let's create some sentences. I ate a banana for lunch yesterday. He bought some new shoes. I went to see a movie yesterday. We swim in the pool. Can you change this to a past simple sentence? Choose the correct answer. Well done! It's not easy, I know. I hope you managed to answer the questions correctly. Now it is time to match the past and present vocabulary. Give yourself a chance and pause the video in the next part to have time to answer. Well done! Did you manage to make the present into the past? Okay, so now, let's create sentences. When creating sentences, it is a lot easier if we have a topic. For example, what I did last year. Here is my example. I visited London last year and I went to see Big Ben, but I felt very cold. Did you spot my past tense verbs? How many did you see? Well done! Okay, now it's your turn. Create as many past verbs as possible in your sentences. Please subscribe for more updates. Kids, it's important to stay safe. Practice social distancing. When you're stuck at home, try using some of these apps to create fun posters. Canva is very student-friendly and easy to use. It has real usefulness both at home or school. Canva is free to use and is available for both Android, Apple mobile apps. For students with desktops or laptop computers, it also has a browser version. Learn with fun. Please subscribe for more fun-focused topics.